So Apple released iOS 7 and uh, installed it on one of my iPads. These are actually both uh, third generation iPads. And um, the one on the left has iOS 6, the latest 6.1.3, I believe. And then the one on the right has been upgraded to iOS 7. And I just figured I'd uh, run the speed test and uh, see how the JavaScript performance has been boosted. So here's the old one. Uh, we'll just try it on jQuery first and we'll see how that goes. And then we'll do the same thing on the other one. Start that one going. And we'll see that uh, performance isn't terribly different. Of course, it's not great performance. Um, I thought it would be better, but let's uh, stop this and then we will go over to GSAP. And all right, let's give this a shot. Much better performance overall, but when you compare the two, not really much difference at all. But there were some interesting things I did notice. Some huge um, problems, actually. So let's jump over to Zep2 and the uh, translate and scale. So this is actually going to use, Zep2 uses uh, CSS transitions for all of its animation. Um, and those are supposed to be hardware accelerated and have all these benefits, especially on mobile devices. So again, we would expect this one over here to be radically faster. Let's do the old one first. Again, this one is iOS 6. Now, Apple's done some kind of fine-tuning on there that makes these transitions uh, really fast. As you can see, there's a little bit of a clumping effect that's happening. But let's uh, try this on the new iOS 7. Same exact web page, same code, and performance is miserable. I don't really understand it. Um, if we switch over to doing uh, animating with Zep2 on the left and top and width and height properties, it's certainly better performance. But there's something about using transforms which were really highly optimized in iOS 6 and it's just terrible and again the transforms are supposed to be much faster um, because it can be offloaded right to the GPU and compositing is in a separate thread and all that fun stuff so I don't get it uh, let's check out the draggable demo and we'll see how that performs so here let's just refresh and we will refresh all right, so here is the iOS 6 version. Uh, buttery smooth. And iOS 7, it's, there's no difference really. It's uh, buttery smooth as well. Same thing if we snap to the grid, doesn't really matter. It's all really, really nice. Um, okay, and the spinning functionality also very very smooth Not snapping alright same thing very smooth um, but then we get to the scrolling and let's just switch it into only scrolling uh, the uh, vertical position. Do the same thing over here. Scroll top. Okay. So here is the um, iOS 6 version. Super smooth. Go beyond. Snap back. It's all really nice. Um, iOS 7. Uh, once you get past the edge where the uh, transforms actually kick in instead of the actual scrolling 
um, it's, it's really smooth out here. But in between, you probably notice there's a little bit of jerkiness. And again, that's just uh, animating the, the scroll position. So not really impressive at all. So, sorry if there's a terrible camera shake and all that, but I'm, uh, I'm not impressed at all with iOS 7. So I'm wondering if anybody else has uh, similar issues.